If you've been following along with our DIY adventures, you know that we have been making over the front of our house. We started by giving our side flower bed a refresh. Then we added some really fun lights to the front of our house. And today we're starting on one of the most exciting parts of this outdoor makeover, a brand new front door. The only problem is this project did not go according to plan. I don't think it's gonna fit and I don't know what to do about it. We're gonna lose some windows. Are we cool with that? This goes in this hole no. and the devil goes in the top one. Yeah! But we better figure it out because we blew a huge hole in the front of our house and there's no going back. So welcome to the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. Before we get started, we want to say thank you to Nectar for sponsoring today's video. Nectar sent us their premier copper mattress and this beautiful Claremont bed frame. Oh. Yeah. The Premier Copper Mattress has a cover that contains copper fibers. Copper is well known to help provide a cooling sensation and can help to quickly dispense any superficial heat transferred to it through touch, helping to provide a cooler sleeping experience. Both of us are pretty warm sleepers, especially Dean. He is like an oven, and so this was a major feature that we love about this mattress. The top layer provides a temperature regulating cooling benefit intended to cushion the body at its most sensitive areas like pressure points with Nectar's much loved memory gel foam to contour and provide support and comfort where you want it the most. The second memory foam support layer is intended to provide resistance against the body and keep you from sinking too far into the mattress. The third layer, the base layer, is intended to provide support for all the layers above and to provide stability and structure. Nectar not only offers contoured support at a fantastic price, but it also provides peace of mind with their industry-leading 365-night risk-free sleep trial and forever warranty. Their 365-day trial period is three times longer than most other trials in the industry. That means that you have a full year from the day that your Nectar mattress is delivered to decide if it's right for you. Nectar Nectar also offers a forever warranty. If you experience defects in construction, materials, or quality, Nectar will either replace or repair your Nectar mattress. Plus, every Nectar mattress is shipped fast and free to your front door. We have been using our Nectar mattress for several weeks now, and I can honestly say yeah. that we love it. I knew that we were needing a new mattress, and so we had been looking around already, but I didn't know how much we really needed a mattress until we laid down on this, and I was literally like, this is the comfiest mattress I have ever slept this on. This is the most comfortable mattress I've ever laid on. I'm not just saying that for the camera. Overall, we are extremely satisfied, love the mattress, and would highly recommend it to any of our family and friends. If you're interested in checking out Nectar mattresses, be sure to click the link in the description below. <laughs> I mean, this is a big Don't day, trip. is it not? It is. This is a big day. I've been waiting since we moved into the house, this house four years ago to put a new front door on it. Back um, it up. I want to go buy coffee. No coffee for you. All right, so where are we going and what are we getting again? We are going to a place that I can't ever remember the name of because they've changed it. But we're going to get a new front door and I'm so excited about it. This is actually pretty exciting because she has been thinking of this and talking about this for a really long time. So I'm excited we're actually getting to do it. Dude, I'm telling you, these new Corvettes look like Ferraris or something. Find a spot, darling, find a spot. After going inside, we headed straight for the door section to have a look around. Oh, babe, I think we need one of these. King Arthur. Ah, oh, babe, we need to get one with the Texas star on it. Look at that. That's what we had at our oh. first house, do you remember? Oh, it is, isn't it? I had a really clear picture in my mind of what I wanted, and when I saw this door, I knew that it was perfect. So we went ahead and purchased the door, and they loaded it up in the back of our minivan. Nice. It fit. It fit. They always question me. I'm like, it's gonna fit. I promise it'll fit. They're always looking at it like, ah, is this gonna, and we're like, hey, just put it in, man. It's gonna fit. We've done I'm this like, a it's lot It's not of times. even eight feet long. It'll fit. It's like six, eight. We're good. She's a beaut. Oh, look at her. We don't need no truck. Get that truck out of here. We got a minivan. All right, where are we headed to now? Back to Lowe's. That's, that's great. Awesome. 
That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Like, exactly. We haven't it's... been this week. It's Monday. Babe, let's get a new lawnmower, huh? Now let's get a John Deere. Wait a minute, you're getting distracted over here. What's going on? Okay, is it too early for this? I mean... We went into Lowe's to grab a couple of stain options, sealer, and a new handle for the front door. behind. I am now looking for Andrea. You can't slow down with Andrea or you will get left behind. Wait, we found her. He ran off and left me. You stopped. <laughs> I just wish they made him bigger, you know? This reminds me of Levi and Asher. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just leave it there. Oh, check it out! The Ranchero. I want one. Hey, how'd what? you get out so fast? You're slow poke. Once we got back, I started pulling the rest of the trim off so I could measure the rough opening of the door because we actually had friends coming over later that evening to help us switch out the doors and we wanted to make sure and have everything ready ahead of time. Girl? But things don't always go according to plan, and this is the part where we started figuring out that we had quite a big problem. What did I say? Did I say 80 and a half? I have no idea. I wasn't listening. This is 81 and a half. So what does all this mean? I don't think it's gonna fit, and I don't know what to do about it. That's highly concerning. Alright, well what do we do next? I'm asking like our friend who's an expert on this. Oh, phone a friend. So we're gonna phone a friend. That's the next step. I did try looking this up online and I was like, I cannot find anything helpful on Okay, so I just wanted to look up what the actual standard, the overall size, so I know it's a 36 inch door, but with the jams, how big, you know, how wide, how tall it is, and it turns out that in our old house, our door is just not standard, and so the hole is about a half inch too narrow, and I think it's a whole inch too short. These old houses, man, come on. Man. I think that means if we want to replace the door ever, we kind of need to reframe that opening, which then means taking the windows out. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm like, oh. um, this was supposed to be an easy thing, and it's not. <laughs> it's not an easy thing. Why can't projects ever be straightforward and like they are supposed to be? Yeah. So we feel like we need to pause for a second and explain a little bit of this situation because nothing was going according to plan. Okay, so let's start out by explaining what the original plan was. So y'all have met our friends Tyler and Justine before and it turns out that Tyler is really good and really efficient and actually really enjoys installing doors. And so just through conversation, he said, hey, you know what? I could switch that door out really quick. So the plan was let's have them all over for dinner and while we're feeding the kids and having fun, and hanging out, he could quickly switch out the door with Dean. Which was supposed to be a one hour job, maybe less. <laughs> but then as we have already shown, things didn't go according to plan and just a couple hours before they were planning to come over, we started figuring out that the rough opening for the door was actually just barely too narrow and too short. So basically, Tyler helped us start demo on this front door area to really get an inside look of things. We're gonna lose some windows. Are we cool with that? And to be able to share with us what materials we were going to need to finish this project. Gravity! <laughs> Can you do a pull up on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we even took a late night trip to Lowe's where I tried to show Tyler my ways. Look at this truck, would you? We got the goods. You gotta you got learn from the master, you gotta go downhill. Downhill. Merry Christmas, guys. 
we've made it. So basically to sum all of that up, what was supposed to be a one hour project that I was not very involved in turned into quite a big project that was now gonna be mostly on my plate and I hadn't planned at all for it. All right, so new plan. This is not going to be just a quick change of the door. We actually need to reframe around it. And so step one in doing that is we need to finish demoing out. We're actually just gonna remove the side lights and then we'll sheetrock over that since the new door has windows anyway, so. What in the world is a side light? The, it's the windows, the windows on the side. Well, I didn't know that. Maybe some other people <laughs> didn't know that. You act like I'm a silly goose. There's a little bit of demo to do on the inside, the outside, and we'll take the old door out and start reframing. <laughs> I was like, Is that a ghost? The next step in the demo process was to figure out how to remove these glass side lights without breaking them. Is there a problem? Well, I'm just trying to figure out how to get these out without breaking the glass. I'd rather not pick up all the little pieces of glass. Remember that time we broke that giant bathroom mirror? Hey, like half ripped out. Still not wanting to move. I guess. Oh look, my simple. Silicone down really well. Hey, success. Nicely well, done. Well, one. Oh, one of two. These are like glued in place. Why do I feel like glass is about to come flying at me? Three or four. Probably don't get too close, babe. You're making me nervous. Oh, it's stuck on a needle. What seems to be the problem? Babe, babe, that's a dangerous spot. Ah! Whoa. That's what I was hoping would happen. <laughs> Perfect. That one was silicone in good. Okay. Hey, look, I got two out without breaking them. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you use a big tools? Okay, I'm gonna cut the door out. All right, so next step is to remove the door, and the easiest way to do that is to cut through any of the nails or screws that are going through there. So I'll just run this down the sides. Hopefully that'll make it easy to then tip the old door out. We'll finish demoing and then framing. <laughs> Okay, this is like, there's not even a gap for this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the door off the hinges. I can't even get the blade in there because this is not how you're supposed to install a door. Making me want to scream a little bit. Ow. Wow, these are like baby screws. None of these are even going into the, like, there's not a single big screw. <laughs> I'm supposed to put like big screws. Nothing gets Andrea more fired up than when jobs aren't done right and she has to be the one to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Holy cow, this is heavy. I feel so strong right now. After getting the actual door out of the way, it was a little bit easier to keep working on removing the door frame. What's that? You're kind of in a dangerous spot. Ah, get it, babe. Just uh, watch out for the glass there, you know? Things were finally cruising mm. along nicely until we started hearing some random banging that we thought was our kids until we walked into the bathroom that's right off of our front entry and made an unfortunate discovery. Oh no! Everything's falling off my shelf in here, babe! You guys? Oh. Oh no! This was the bang we heard! Oh no! Uh, oh no! Like, my shelf is like... <laughs> oh shoot! No way. I hope that toilet was flush. I'm gonna worry about that later. I don't care. What is wrong with this project? I would like to rename this project a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> 
So Andrea decided to take out some of her anger on the demo. No wonder it fell. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like an extra spirited slam, am I right? I think we need to redo that bathroom now. You think? <laughs> I think we need to redo that bathroom. Maybe so. Ow! Hey, you know what thought just hit me? There's no turning back. Yeah, we gotta get this finished tonight. Since we had to get rid of the old side lights, that meant we needed to remove all of the old siding and trim inside and out before we could start reframing. This is such a violent job. You are so well suited for it. See him violent? Mm -hmm. Wait. I remember I felt so exposed on that project. It just keeps going on and on, doesn't it? Yeah. Bedtime demo, you know. How do you spend your fall evenings? Is it demoing your front door? That's totally normal, isn't it? Get my fingers on it! Oh my gosh! We're thinking more just like a cave entrance, maybe. Demoing all around the door meant removing every last little bit of the old trim so we could start fresh with the new trim and siding. And this was definitely way more work than either one of us thought it would be. So this created quite the predicament because the sun was quickly setting and we hadn't even started on the new framing yet. All right, I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a long night. It's dark. Yes. And we're just finishing demo. Oh, yeah. And there's no turning back. There's there's no stopping. Like, I think demo is the hardest part that for sure took the most time. I think I thought we had more daylight, but the sun is setting before 7 now, and so it's dark. <laughs> I can just hear our neighbors saying about right now, my, what strange neighbors we have. Hey, you know what? Actually, can you hear that? He's building a shed right now. You know what, maybe our neighbors think we're going to be best buddies, actually. After finishing up demo and doing a quick cleanup, we got our saw out out back and started cutting the wood for the framing. Yeah. This is probably the most awkward way I've ever carried this. What in the world? Now, the camera makes it look a little bit later than it actually was, but it was just after 7 p.m. and our goal was to get all of the cutting and loud noise done by 8 p.m. so that we didn't disturb our neighbors. We pretty much never work on projects this late, especially ones that involve using loud power tools, but the demo took way longer than we anticipated, so we were definitely feeling the pressure to get this done as fast as we could. And of course, having a giant hole in the front of our house added some extra motivation. I ended up not having to move the header, which is the board above the door because there was an extra one by four board that came out easily during demo. So that was a huge plus. The mega level. That there's the largest level I've ever seen, darling. No comment. That's because she is in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. Just this ladder is so awkward. After attaching two 2x4s on each side of the door, I then used a sawzaw and a multi-tool to trim off the excess 2x4 at the bottom. That steak sure is tough. Next, I 
started measuring and then cutting the plywood sheathing that would be the first layer on the exterior of the house. It's not long enough. What? I'll just cut my side pieces longer. I just need to redo it a little bit. This is the job that never ends. Easy, darling. Always forgetting your tape measure. Okay, so we're cutting the sheathing stuff to go on the outside, and instead of getting our air compressor out, which is so loud, I'm just gonna put a couple of brad nails in to hold it in place, and then tomorrow I'll come back with the nailer, the big nailer. We don't wanna make our neighbors angry, so this is like the last thing we need to do that actually makes noise, so hopefully nobody comes over here. I would say knocking on our door, but we don't have a door to knock on. They yeah, probably come over and then they're like, oh, that's why. Totally normal. Okay, so next we're gonna be waterproofing on the bottom of the door, and normally we would use a sill pan for this, but nobody has them in stock locally, and since we are under an overhang here, I did get some advice, and I'm gonna end up just using the same flashing that I'm using on all the sides, and then put a bead of silicone on the edge to like create the same effect as a sill pan, and then also before we set the door, I'll have several beads of silicone there as well, so we'll be good. You're such a pro. <laughs> Don't eat it. I'm trying to see if it has that metal seal in there. Looks like giant duct tape. We're getting close. After I finished sticking the flashing on all of the corners, it was time to do a dry fit of the door and make sure that it actually fit. DNA professional door installers, sort of. At first, it seemed like the door wasn't quite fitting, but then I realized I just needed to trim the sheetrock at the top. Oh, I'm probably gonna need to cut the sheetrock real quick with a saw. That's what, it's holding it up top. and then we'll tilt it back out and I'll put silicone down and then we'll just kind of tilt it back into place. Once we had the door in place, everything was pretty straightforward. You pretty much just need a good level and a bunch of shims, and then you loosen and tighten your screws until everything is square and there's an even reveal all around the door. Right now she's using the Jimmy Shimmy technique. That is hard to say, Jimmy technique. Shimmy technique. Jimmy Shimmy technique. I realized the door needed to be raised up on one side, but the sheetrock up top was still in the way, so I needed to trim it back a little bit more. It's time to charm. After several more adjustments, we finally had the door square, and it was time to install the hardware. What? <laughs> this is what happens when you do projects at night. This goes in this hole. No. And the deadbolt goes in the top one. I didn't even think about that. Well, at least this is easy to... And the story goes on. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, to finish the night, Andrea sprayed whipped cream into all of the cracks around the door.
This isn't your first late project, is it? I think you need to go to bed, darling. Oh, yeah. No, this is not as late. We have, we've gone way later than this before. <laughs> you know what I think we need? A little bit of ice cream. Yes. Well, man, it is amazing what this girl can do with a hammer and a dream in her mind. I mean, can she work or can she work? You know what I'm saying? Well, this was supposed to be a really quick exchange. You pull the old door out, you put the new door in. But then, of course, things didn't go according to plan, so we really didn't have an option. Once you pull that door out and start tearing things yeah. up, you have to put something back in place. And so yep. we got it done. We figured it out. We have the new door installed. Thank goodness there's not a giant hole in the front of her house. Yeah, this is definitely one of those all or nothing projects. I mean, there is no going back once you blow open a hole in the front of your house. But hey, you did what it took <laughs> to replace that hole in the front of our house. So can't complain, right? <laughs> so for all of Andrea's amazing hard work this week, we are not finished. That's for next week. So she's going to be working on trim. She's going to be staining this beautiful door. She's going to be painting around it and really finishing out the front of our house and it's gonna look absolutely incredible. So join us in the next video. What's that? A coloring book. Nice, go out a coloring book. Is that a frozen coloring book? Yeah. That's cool. Do you ever sing Let It Go? <laughs> Me too. Let it go, let it go. Just like. You're scared of me. Hey, what are you doing? I'm riding my bike. Oh, you're riding your bike? Okay, is it too early for this? I mean, ma'am, could I get your opinion about- September is too early. We're mid-October now. Mid-October. Yeah, I guess it's not too early to sell it, but to put it up, I don't know. Yo, look at what we got here. Get those in there. Get those bad boys in there. Diaper drop, diaper drop, diaper drop. We brought you the diapers, mom. Behind me. <laughs> Holy sprint. Gosh, your eyeball. Yeah, listen. Can we... Kids, it's kind of weird. Can you stop? This project really did feel like one of those kind of fly by the seat of your pants projects. Because right. it was supposed to be a quick thing and Tyler was going to do it because this is like his area of X-Men. And I'm like, all right, how do I do this again? It's been a long time. Oh yeah, installed. this is a few hour. <laughs> by eight o'clock, it's like, oh, neighbors don't hate us. Like what, just after 8 p.m.? It's oh. a little nerve wracking there though. <laughs> <clears throat> Dean's like, cut all that. <laughs> <laughs> I can read your mind. This is my editor camera over here. <laughs> Talked way too long. Just cut it off. <clears throat>